Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of Adobe Raw. Today we're going to try and get through Adobe Raw so we can move on to Photoshop. So let's edit this photo, go through a few more things and yeah, see how we go. Alright, here we are back in Adobe Raw. I've actually updated it. The other day so um, this is a new version when I read about what was new in the version there wasn't much at all that was new something in these preference boxes was new but not too much so we're going to carry on first thing we're going to do is we're going to just going to crop our image Okay, and um, might just try and straighten that a little bit. See how that goes, and then we're going to put our shadows up a bit, bring out this area here a bit more. Okay, that's looking nice, except. I think that sky is sort of a bit of negative space up there. And we're going to try and make the tree a bit center. Okay, so what we're going to look at today is some of these things. So this tab here, this one's for your basic adjustments. This one here's tone curve. So we can make adjustments to our tone here. Add more light and stuff. Bring up the shadows a little bit. I'm just going to put that down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's that one. Then the next one, this one here, is your sharpening. We're just going to sharpen it a little bit. I don't normally mess with this stuff. I think 24 megapixels on my camera is quite enough. Yep, so you got all that. You got your noise reduction. If you need to reduce the noise a little bit. Some settings there. They call this the HSL adjustments, hue, saturation, and luminance. So yeah, this is just if you need to adjust any of your colors a tiny bit. You've got individual sliders to adjust them. Then next one along here is split toning. This one's pretty cool. Say so if I put the saturation up on this one a little bit, take our balance down so it's more on the sky, I can adjust that a little bit, put our saturation right up, put our balance to about there, and yeah, I can change the whole color of the thing. Same with the shadows down there. But right now we're going to go back. So to step back, if you don't like a move you made to step back, it's Control Z, and it'll take you back the steps. Okay. Next one's lens corrections. You got your profile, so you can um, click this, and it'll use your lens lenses profile and correct it or you can go manual and correct it yourself so I'm just gonna get a bit more of that those balls in my shop by doing that okay this one I like is FX effects Put some vignetting in, either 
more white or take it down some stops and some adjustments there this one here calibration I don't really mess with this too much but this is um, yep that's that and then here we went over these the other day these are different settings presets that um, that Adobe RAW has already got set and remember once you've clicked one of these you can always make your own adjustments by clicking back on this and then adjusting it hmm I really like this black and white split tone I'm going to click on that and let's have a look go back to our basic adjustments I think the shadows need to come up a little bit yes anyway so we've gone from that to that I still like this one that one's pretty cool anyway that's sort of about it for Photoshop RAW or Adobe RAW the basics so in the next episode stay tuned guys because we're going to move into Photoshop we're going to quickly edit a photo in here take it to Photoshop and I'll show you some things I, I know in there alright over and out for now guys